pheromones. Pheromones causes an obligatory response. Obligatory. Pheromones give an order that cannot be disobeyed. But we don't have to worry about it. Pheromones. It's a mind-bending substance. Pheromones. Causes an obligatory response. Obligatory. Give an order that cannot be disobeyed. Hello? Hello? Yes, um, I need to uh, report uh, uh, an anonymous tip. Who do I talk to? Uh, okay. This is regarding what? This is regarding a mass suicide. Pheromone. We're so excited, we don't know what to do. We're going home to those individuals who sent us here to do this task, and this is the happiest and joyous thing that you can possibly imagine. We're going home. Some religious radical, some blasphemous individual that wants to take advantage of people. Religious radical, some blasphemous individual. possess the offspring they have. It's, it's a very evil thing for them to think that they are theirs, that they are products of theirs, property of theirs. It requires that you, if you move into that evolutionary kingdom, that you leave behind everything of human ways, human behavior, human ignorance. Want to go there, then you have to follow me because I'm the guy who's got the key at the moment. The kingdom level above human is not a static place. It is a place where growth continues indefinitely. The chief, the creator, is constantly evolving. And there are ones in that kingdom level who are constantly strong. Breaking away from the world is
is not easy. It's difficult. It's tough. And breaking away doesn't mean that, you know, I'm, I'm going to go live in some place with this little cult and I'll, you know, spend time on weekends or at least on holidays with the family that I left because they're my family. No. It means that you leave that world behind. You even become another individual. It means that even the mind that you had as a human is aborted and the soul that was given to you is filled with next level information, next level mind, and a new creature is born. If you have on that potential to know that kingdom, to be saved from this spading under desire for it anymore.
I was first struck by the absence of time. Having depended on it so completely as a measure of myself. Moving backwards into the perpetual night that consumes purpose, need, or
years later, we've come no further. about 